Hi, it's Andy again, and today I have another Java tutorial for Android developers. Uh, my last tutorial, we went and talked about uh, the activity lifecycle uh, for Android applications. Now we're going to go back into Java and talk about operators. So for that, we're actually going to reduce our code quite a bit. Um, we don't really need all of this stuff, so we're actually going to delete a lot of it, and we're pretty much going to start from scratch. So I'm going to get rid of all of these. We don't need these text views. And we'll get rid of this for now. All right, let me get rid of the log. So we also need to change our text views. We're going to rename these. Um, so our operators, most of them you uh, probably are familiar with basic math so we're going to do addition subtraction multiplication division do what they call modulus or it is modulus um, increment and decrement we don't need this one anymore so we'll delete that and how about we put some Text views for uh, match parent rat content. We're going to create two um, uh, integers. So we'll do Android text equals A is equal to, let's say, two. And we'll copy this and we'll change it to B. Copy. We'll say b is equal to 3. OK, so we need to actually create these integers as well. So in our onCreate, int a is equal to 2, int b is equal to 3. And we're going to use this for our integers to explain all the operators in Java. Alright, so we need to call we need to get our text views again. So text view and we had addition is equal to text view find view by id r dot id dot addition and uh, we'll copy all of these be subtraction we got multiplication division Modulus increments and decrement. So now we're going to actually set the text for all of these uh, items. So addition dot set text string dot value of 
and then we're just going to say a plus b. So it's simple math that we're going to be doing, but we're going to show you the modulators for, or sorry, the the operators, the simple ones. The There's other future ones that I'm going to go over, and I kind of introduced you to them in um, a previous tutorial, but this is going to be your simple math, and we're going to use these to these are as our fundamentals. Uh, actually, we need to call subtraction, and we need multiplication. And for multiplication, you don't use x. X is a letter. You need to use the star or asterisk. Division dot set text. A and then just like in regular arithmetic, the division is your forward slash division. Uh, modulus. Now, what modulus is actually is going to get the remainder. So um, we're going to do three divided by two. You're going to get a remainder of one because two goes into three once, and then you have a remainder. So modulus dot set, set text. String uh, value of, and this one we're going to do B modulus A, and then increments dot set text string dot value of. This one we'll do A plus plus, and decrements we're going to do we'll do B string dot value of b minus minus. So this is going to take whatever the integer of a is and increase it by 1. And this will take whatever the integer of b is and subtract 1. So uh, in this case, they're just going to be role reversal. b is going to be equal to a, a is going to be equal to b. So when we run this, No, I'm going to add some code so it's easier to, to see. We'll do. Hang on. A plus B equals. Uh, plus that. We'll do in here. A minus B here we'll do a times b equals and then here a divided by And for the modulus, we'll do B modulus A, or B divided by A with the remainder being. Okay, and then here we'll do A plus plus equals, and here B minus minus equals. All right, now let's run this. Sorry for not having the emulator already up and running, but it doesn't take long on my machine to get it going. Okay. Here we go. So a is equal to 2, b is equal to 3, so a plus b is equal to 5. Uh, a minus b is going to be negative 1 because we have three, uh, 2 minus 3 equals negative 1. 
uh, a times b is equal to 6. Uh, a divided by b is equal to 0. Would, this Remember, it doesn't calculate the remainder. Uh, here, um, b divided by a is equal to 1 because you have 3 divided by 2 is 1 with the remainder of 1. So that's actually the remainder. Um, this actually didn't work. Let's see why not. Was never used. All right, so that didn't work. Hang on one second. Sorry about that. You actually have to call the um, increment and decrement uh, outside of the string value. So um, if you increment them here, it's not affected by all of this. So we can still increment and decrement and then get the value of what uh, A and B should be. So now when you see it in the emulator, um, 2 is now equal to 3 and 3 is now equal to 2. So uh, these are your basic operators in Java. It's actually very simple arithmetic. If you have any questions though, uh, please let me know. Uh, we're going to continue on the operators next and uh, show you how the using simple, simple math is uh, very useful when uh, programming to determine uh, when to do what. So especially this modulus, you'll be wondering like, why on earth would I ever need to know the remainder of something? Um, so I will go into that because it's actually very useful uh, when programming for, for Java because um, you can get basically if this or that or something like that, you know? Um, but I'll, I'll just, I'll, just uh, I'll explain why modulus is uh, going to be very helpful yeah, in the future. All right. Thank you for watching, and let me know if you have any questions.